Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have seen so many configuration methods that are available for this Spyon. The Spyon method also offers another configuration method that is throw error. So that means whenever we are spying on a particular method. So for example in this in this main.js, whenever we are trying to spy on the method, if that method throws error, so how it will handle? For example, let's say that uh, we are ha we are having these all what I can say update result methods and we are spying on this add method, subtract method, multiply method. These are all methods we are handling. We are handling this handling uh, in this calculate method. Now for example, let's say that we are spying on this one. So we are uh, returning our own customized calls, so customized return values we are returning using the spy on method. Let's say that if the multiply method is returning an error, is throwing an error means how, how come this uh, method will handle? So we need to know that one also. So for handling those type of, for returning those type of errors also, spyr methods gives us a configuration method that is throw error. So whenever you are spying on a method and if you want to throw error, so whenever whoever calls this method and who calls that spy method, so it will throw an error. So whenever you, uh, whenever we, whenever somebody calls on that method, if it return an error, how come that throw error will handle? How come that error will be handled? We can also check that one. So what, what I can say here in this multiply, in this main.js, in this calculator, so nowhere is concerned about this error thing. So whenever any method multiply, add, subtract, multiply, divide, anything, if it returns an error, it does not handle any error, right? So let's try to see that one, whether it, whether it is handle or not, let's try to see, let's try to test that one. So now here, what I will try to do, so it does not handle errors right so it does not handle the errors let's take this function and here i am spying on the method let's say that we spy on a method that is calculator calculator oh, sorry spy on calculator dot prototype prototype and i am spying on a method multiply okay and whoever calls this multiply method Whoever calls this multiply method, I need to throw an error. So I can use method something like to throw error. Okay, to throw error. Oh, sorry, not to throw error. Throw error. Throw error. So I can use this method throw error and I am returning some sum error. Okay, I am using some error. So now whoever calls this multiply method, it will return an error. It will throw an error, some error. Now let's try to calculate. Let's try to call this calculate method. 3 into 3 okay i am now i am calling this multiply so whenever you are passing expression 3 into 3 means it will call the multiply method right but we are spying on this multiply method and we are throwing an error now you know that we have learned in, the, in our previous videos whenever we are throwing an error and we are calculating direct and we are when we are calling this method means directly simply it will throw an error so it, it will not handle this one let's try to see it so here you will be able to see that throw error is not a function okay so throw error is not a function it is still right Okay, throw error is not a function. So what is the, what could be the problem here? Yeah, we need to use and dot throw error. Okay, configuration method, right? So now and dot throw error. So let's try to see it. See some error. So directly what it has, what it has got is it directly it, it executed this calculator method and it tried to call the multiply method and it threw an error. So you should not call this one. So whenever you expect that it is throwing an error means you are testing that it will throw an error means what you need to do? You need to do the expect and you need to call the function here in this function you need to call the calculate okay so calculate of 3 into 3 that's it now we need to to throw error so we need to see that whether it will throw an error or not so now let's try to see some error so now let's try to see it so if you try to see see the test has been successfully passed so that means our calculate method does not handle the errors so whenever uh, whenever any multiply method or anything so whatever may be the, whatever may be the method so we have taken for the case multiply method whenever the multiply method throws an error it does not handle the error and the calculate method throws the error directly okay so this is how we can check the error functionality so for example when you are spying on a method and that spy method if you want to throw an error means you can use this method configuration method throw error so this is how we will be spying on a methods and throwing the errors. So instead of calculating directly, so returning the values for a particular values, 
so whenever you want to throw error so whenever you want to throw error means you can also throw an error like this payan hope you understood with uh, about this throw error if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you